Hi, this is Sam from Appify. So we launched our MCP marketplace a few weeks ago, and we're excited to see some of the servers that are already being published. And today I want to show you a cool use case that I have been experimenting with. So uh, as you know, if you go to the Appify store and you click here on MCP servers, you can see uh, all the new servers that have been re recently published. So one of them is called SlideSpeak MCP server. And basically uh, the actor itself allows you to um, create PowerPoint presentations. And it's priced right now at uh, 4.9 cents per slide. Um, and this is a great way, for example, of, of, on this use case that I want to show you is to scrape some social media accounts and then use the SlideSpeak MCP server straight inside your client to create that presentation. All right, uh, let's get this off the road. Uh, one cool thing in Appify too is there is a ready-made client that you can use uh, using your Appify credits. So if you go to your uh, home again, let's go to Appify store, let's look up our client. And here it is, it's the tester MCP client. Uh, you start this out by, uh, you can leave all of these as defaults. So if you've if you changed this before, uh, you can just restore the default section over here. All right, um, leave this as streamable. One thing that you can do is put a system prompt. This will help you get better uh, outputs from the actual client itself once you run this. So for this example, I used the social media analysis agent and uh, I'm focusing my client or agent into actually creating social media analysis presentations. Okay, uh, choose your model that you wanna use. So I'm using Sonnet here and then press on the start button. Once you start the run, you will see here in the logs, uh, URL will be generated. So it's this URL here, and you can use that URL to directly interact with our MCP server. Um, as an orientation, if you go here to the tool section, you'll see all the current tools that are available for you. So right now I don't have any tools, but the client itself can add any tools based on the prompt that you give it. So uh, for this prompt, for example, I'm gonna tell it, I wanna create a social media presentation on the profiles of all the competitors of Appify. Please find me scrapers to find competitive data for Appify lookalikes, and then assess the KPIs for Instagram, LinkedIn, and Meta, and then create a presentation using the SlideSpeak MCP server. So uh, with a single prompt, we'll able to do all the research, plus create the presentation on the go. And let's see how this goes. So. Obviously, first it wants to find out, okay, what kind of actors can I use? We found some actors. Uh, it, it's founding more actors that it can use. So this is for Instagram, for example. And in the above example, it was for LinkedIn. Um, and then eventually, after it finds all the actors that it wants to use based on the reviews, based on um, social proof, based on the prompt itself, uh, it will add those actors. As you can see over here, it started to add some actors for, uh, for LinkedIn. And over here, it added some actors for Instagram. And of course, it added the uh, SlideSpeak MCP server, which will generate the presentation for us. Now that we have all the presentations, what it's doing is using our uh, RAG browser, which is, um, uh, it, it basically uses both Google search and scrapes all the markdown from those top and results for Google search to find the exact um, competitors for Appify, and then it will use that information based on the logic that it has already extracted from the different actors to call on the social profiles. Also used uh, a slash a company research intelligence tool just to kind of triangulate more. So Octoparse.com is definitely a competitor of ours, and now it found actually a tool that I did not know about. Uh, and so this is the cool thing about MCP is that it extends the learning that you have so, you know, with 6,500 actors that are published, um, it actually gives you um, up-to-date information about actors. And in, in some cases, you know, use cases that you haven't even thought about. Okay, sometimes there could be a network error. This is fine, just wait for it to reload. We can see here that it already reloaded. Uh, and it starts, it's starting the runs now. Uh, let's go back and look at some of our runs. We can see here some of the runs that were already triggered by our MCP client. So we had the RAG browser where it was 
looking for the actual uh, competitors for Appify. Right, and if you click on the run here, you can see uh, some of the competitors that it managed to uh, extract. Uh, we go back and we can see here, it started to use this company research intelligence tool, which is actually a cool way to test different actors without giving it specific uh, deterministic logic to do so. Uh, over here, we have the Instagram profile scraping going on and we have the LinkedIn uh, company posts also going on. And we can go back and see that it's trying. So it basically um, created, or it's asking me for the available templates that are available on SlideSpeak. It's compiling all the data that it gathered. And now it's generating the actual PowerPoint presentation. Um, there are 12 available templates. And of course, you know, we will add uh, more and more templates as we, um, you know, scale the MCP server more. Okay. So there, there was an error in generating the PowerPoint, which is fine. Uh, usually what happens in these instances is the MCP server will actually um, recorrect itself, which it's doing right now. I think the big difference here between uh, MCP server and regular API calls, in, in many cases, uh, you have to kind of debug yourself, but with, with the MCP server, it always finds different shortcuts or different ways to, you know, accomplish the task. And we're just waiting for this um, URL to generate. All right, and it has generated. So now it will provide me with the actual uh, URL. Uh, you can wait for it to provide you with the actual URL, but the URL itself is actually over here. Uh, you can just copy and paste it. and it will download the presentation for you that was created. And there you go. Uh, of course, if you don't like the actual design, right, you can use uh, a different template. So for example, I'll just go back here. Here you can see, of course, uh, it gave you exactly what happened, uh, plus the URL for the presentation, right? Uh, I don't like the design. Let's use, for example, I know uh, I like Aurora, so Aurora uh, template. And in this case, it will regenerate the presentation uh, right away with the, with the new template. Okay. Which is really cool for experimenting with different templates uh, very quickly. All right. So we have the new presentation with the new template. Again, you can wait for the actual uh, results or which is here. And let's see what we have here. Downloaded the new presentation. And there you go, a full uh, competitive analysis presentation fully designed in just a few minutes of talking to our client. So uh, we're excited to see what you will be doing with this. Uh, MCP server, and we're rolling out new MCP servers by the day. So make sure to check out the um, Happyfy store. Thank you.